So we're going to see the orchestra show and look at this area that we have walked into to go to the show. You can purchase reserved seating from their app, but if you don't, you just come here for the show. Um, the shows start periodically. I don't know if this show has started yet or not. Okay. So I'm gonna find my safe. Uh, then I'm still
Star Whale family showing off their size, speed, power, and problem-solving abilities. These behaviors keep our whales both active and engaged. SeaWorld's killer whales have inspired generations to care about our natural world, and we're excited to share their stories with you today. Killer whales are the oceans and environment full of enrichment. We spend days, weeks, months, years building relationships with our whales. This creates trust, and that allows us to do some amazing things. For example, when you visit the doctor, you present your arm to draw blood, or you step on the scale to see how much you weigh. It's much the same with our whales. Throughout today's experience, you'll see the killer whales moving together in unison. These synchronized behaviors help strengthen social bonds and allow them to problem solve as a group. This is just one of the reasons why they're known as the ocean's top predator. Their scientific name is Orsinus orca. Their common name is killer whale. And each of our five whales have their own personal names. We have our three females, Takara, Sakari, and Kamea. And our two males, two are, and joining us right here is Kayuke. Kamea is the youngest whale of our pod at nine years old. Her mother, Takara, is our oldest whale at 31 years old. Takara is also the matriarch of our pod, which just means she is the leader. These whales trust us and take an active role in their own health and well-being. Through the use of positive reinforcement training techniques, we're able to teach them husbandry or healthcare behaviors. Joining us at the slide outs today are trainers Casey and Kylan to help demonstrate some of these behaviors. Hi, Hey, everybody. I'm over here hanging out with 31-year-old Kaiyukens. So one of the first behaviors that we teach the whales is a behavior called a fluke present, where the whales present their tail flips to the trainers. A fluke present not only allows us to look over the whale's entire body, but it gives us access to the easy to see shallow veins that run along the underside of their tails. Our veterinarians are able to collect a blood sample from these very veins at least once a month during their monthly physical, and the whales are conditioned to remain calm just as Kaika is demonstrating right now. Throughout today's presentation, you'll notice that we're giving the whales tail rods and back massages. Their skin is very sensitive, so this is just one of the many ways that we can build our relationships with the killer whales. That's right, Casey. I'm on the other side of the pool, and I'm going to talk about another important diagnostic tool, which is being able to get each of the animal's weights. Every Tuesday morning, we ask the whales to slide up onto a whale-sized scale that's in one of our back pools. And in that position, we're able to get a weight on their entire body, just like how you get is going to demonstrate right now. Now you can see that a large portion of his body, from his dorsal fin all the way down to his tail flukes, is still in the water. That area is called the peduncle. It's a set of large and powerful muscles that can weigh several hundred pounds. So in order for us to get an accurate, accurate weight on each of the animals, we simply ask them to lift their tail up. And in this position is how to know that as of this past Tuesday, Kayuka is weighing in at 9,510 pounds. Now it's important we get each of the animal's weights because we want to make sure our younger whales, like Sakari and Kamea, are growing properly, and our older whales, like Kayuka here, are maintaining a healthy weight. All of these husbandry behaviors ensure that the whales are healthy and thriving. And the care isn't just physical. Mental stimulation and play are vital, and we surprise and engage with our whales at every opportunity. Play is how our whales teach their young to hunt, and for the adults, play is important too. It seems that they just enjoy having fun. Making time for play is an important part of life for other whales and for us. Well, hi everyone! Kaika and I are down here at the glass with a new friend, Mateus, and we're going to talk a little bit more about how killer whales learn. Killer whales actually learn through observational learning and mimicry, so they follow what other members of their pod do to learn necessary life skills. And here at SeaWorld, they even mimic us. Would you like to play a game of Follow the Leader with Kaika today? All right, go ahead and lift up your left arm and give Kaika a big wave. Great job, Mateus! He is paying such close attention to you. 
killer whales have amazing eyesight, both above and below the surface of the water. They can often be seen spy hopping or even jumping all the way out of the water to get a better view of their surrounding. And we're gonna ask Kayuga to demonstrate that. Are you ready? All right, let's point at Kayuga with our left hand. Now throw it across your body. Perfect. He is going to go all the way down to the bottom of our 40 foot pool, using those peduncle muscles up and down to make his way up and out of the water, right in the center. Everyone, take a look. communicate in a variety of ways, and one of those ways is actually making different sounds that come out of their blowhole on top of their head. So I'm going to have you ask how you get to make one of those sounds right now with that first hand signal, all right? Go ahead. Wow, very nice. That's awesome. So that's just one of the ways that they can communicate. Another way is by tapping different parts of their body on the surface of the water. So that could be their big pectoral flippers, their tail flukes, or even their entire body. And when a whale leaps out of the water, crashes their body on the surface, it's actually a sound that can be heard for miles around because sound travels four and a half times faster in the water than it does in the air. So we're gonna ask how you get to demonstrate that right now with the behavior we call a breach. All right, remember that second hand signal? One, two, three. Very nice, he saw you and he has taken off. You can come all the way up here to get a really good look as he dives down to the bottom. And he's gonna use that powerful tail to lift over 9,000 pounds up and out of the water. by leaping out of the water and making a huge splash. SeaWorld's research and observation of the killer whales in our care has shed light on the many mysteries about these incredible animals. For example, we know the gestation period of a pregnant killer whale is 17 months. That is information impossible to obtain out in the wild. However, some information can only be gathered through field observation. This is why SeaWorld works with our partners like the Norwegian Orca Survey, to further our knowledge. Killer whales are remarkable, powerful animals, and perhaps the best expression of that power is when they hunt. Killer whales stand apart. They have no natural predators, and just about any other ocean animal could be their dinner. Depending on where they live and their chosen prey, they've developed some epic hunting techniques. Off the coast of South America, killer whales will beach themselves, riding in on waves just long enough to catch prey. They'll also create waves that knock animals like penguins or seals from ice cliffs. Most importantly, they cooperate, communicate, and coordinate as a team. Here's footage of killer whales corralling a school of herring. A whale dips in and feeds, while the other whales keep the fish together with swipes of their tail fins. In the ocean, killer whales create waves to hunt, use flute slams to stun their prey, and they can even beach themselves up and out of the water. For our whales, it's just a fun demonstration, but for you, it's the thrill of the hunt.
spectacular athletes. They can eat several hundred pounds of food a day. Depending on where they live and the time of year, their prey can vary. What?